Wow. Skinhead? Really? Hi, welcome back to the Spamless Gamer, where I'm playing every Atari 7800 game in order of release. And if this is your first time here, click like, subscribe, and the notify button. We have four games today. We have Pete Rose Baseball, Planet Smashers, Title Match Pro Wrestling, and Tomcat the F-14 Simulator. And our first game today is Pete Rose Baseball. It's uh, by Alex DeMeo, and there's Pete Rose himself, and Hall of Famer, right? I play baseball one way. Gambling. Here's the first 7800 baseball game to live up to the winning attitude. Top quality graphics and six camera angles give the feeling of a network broadcast TV. Pro professional fielding strategy. Stay on your toes and anticipate the fielder will uh, blah, blah, blah. Mix your pitches. Yep. Yeah, baseball stuff. Uh, nothing about gambling on the game. Hmm. Okay. Guess I can't. Pete Rose Baseball. The Pedious Baseball. Of them all. And it's just this. This is all it is. There's no game. Apparently. Hello. Oh, some. Oh, it's the Atari 2600 version. Batter up. I don't think there's any difference between this and the 2600 version. I could be wrong. We'll find out in a second. Get the ball! We have no outs. Well, I suck. Here, look at the dog. We're gonna see what the 2600 version looks like. All right. It's a little bit different, but it's pretty much identical in every way, right? Except they don't know how to swing. Okay, it does look a little worse on the fielding element. It's pretty close. Let's rate it. Uh, graphics, graphics could be better. Uh, they were impressive on the 2600, not as impressive on the 7800. We'll give that a five. Sound is about the same as the Atari version, three and a half. Uh, had little jingles of music here and there, so we'll give it a little credit for that. There is no story. Uh, controls, four. Funness, a three and a half. Does it hold my attention? A two and a half. And overall, it's going to get a four and a half. Decent baseball game, but it's a little bit dated by the 7800 era. Uh, all right, let's see what's next. Our next game today is called Planet Smashers. I like to call it Planet Smushers. From 1990, this is Planet Smushers, and we got a planet blowing up because they're smashing it. Earthlings, beware. Alien starship attack. It's an alien ambush from a far-out galaxy. Alien planet smashers are coming to obliterate planet Earth. That's where I live. You must suit up and head off the invasion. Your starship is equipped. Equipped with capable blasters, but you can earn mega weapons and devastating firepower. The alien motherships are ultimate challenge with colorful full screen graphics and awesome sound effects. Blast off and blast away. It's only the fate of the planet at stake. Planet is capitalized for some reason. Dig it. Sort of. It's trying. trying, but the Atari 7800 chip just can't keep up. It's a shmup! It's a shmup. Get the W! It does stuff. Wow, decent smart. Wow, things are happening. <gasps> a C. I got the U or W, and I got a C. Sponsored by the CW. 
Another W. I blew up the W. Take that, W. Oh, my weapon changed to those. I don't know what those are. Man, I suck at shmups, and uh, I'm doing okay here. That just tells me this is not a good shmup. I'm good at it. It can't be good. Die! Die! No, I'm going to blow up because I stopped shooting things. Oh, my shield is on fire. Oh, no, I blew... Oh, that's a decent explosion, I guess. Are we dead? Oh, no, there's more game. Okay, we're gonna read Planet Smashers. Graphics, they're okay. We'll give those a four. Sound, uh, like it. It's six. Music, the opening was okay. Uh, story, it's typical. Aliens are attacking Earth. One, controls. Uh, six, funness, a three. It's really repetitive. Does it hold my attention? A three. And overall, it's going to get a five. That was Planet Smashers, a halfway decent shmup. Not very challenging. Let's see what is next. All right, our next game today is Title Match Pro Wrestling, and the box art looks like this. We got that beefcake guy landing on Harryman, and the camera guy, he's important to the box. Box art featuring Tag Team back again. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, announcing the most competitive wrestling ever to be played on the Atari 7800 Arena. Tonight's the title. Tonight, title match is here. State-of-the-art animation combined with realistic sound effects to give you all the excitement of professional wrestling. Choose from some of the meanest wrestlers in the business to compete one-on-one -on -one or tag team. Either way, the action never stops. Make all the pro moves like headlocks, airplane spins, rope dives, body slams, and when you think you're really good, enter the ring against the computer to see who's the absolute champion. Get it? Absolute? Because it's made by absolute. Okay. Wow. Skinhead? Really? Skinhead? That's just wrong. Mr. Mean. Okay, nothing wrong there. Mad Dog. Fine. Big Chief. That's problematic. Uh, tag. Why am I on two player? I don't want to play two player. One on one. There we go. One player. I'll be Mr. Mean. He's one of the least problematic. Mr. Mean. Come here! Come here! No, I'm just gonna mash buttons at you! I can't go off the ropes. Oh, he was faking dead. A crowd goes mild. Oh no! Yes! I'm gonna wiggle things at you. Wiggle controller, hit buttons until you die. Yes. Ah! I just push buttons fast enough you can't beat me. My hand is hurting. Mr. Mean would like a break. Does it ever end? Oh, no. Oh, I'm pinned. I got pinned. And the game keeps going for some reason. Okay. Graphics, uh, they're okay. We'll give those a six. Uh, sound, not a lot. We'll give it a three and a half. The really good no music. Story, none. Controls, a three and a half. You just kind of mash buttons and do good. Funness, a 
three. Does it hold my attention? A two and a half, and overall it's going to get a four. That was title match pro wrestling. Let's see what the last game is. Our last game today is Tomcat the F-14 Fighter Simulator, and the box art looks like this. Dan Kitchens, is he Gary Kitchens' brother? Uh, super graphics for the Atari 7800. The guy's staring at me. Vector for bogey, 030, Fox 1, Fox 1, bogey's at Angel 5, 40 knot closure, going down the front of the kill. Fly over hostile waters, a naval aviator on a patrol, your carrier battle group. Your orders engage inbound bogeys and terminate with extreme prejudice. Your fully equipped F-14 features a HUD that tracks and locks onto hostile aircraft from an unknown country. Like that movie Top Gear, Top Gun, Maverick. An electronic countermeasure computer to defeat inbound missiles and cockpit displays of fuel, blah, 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 fly off in search of high-speed combat, blah, blah, the dog fights are fierce, blah, 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 blah. All right. Okay. Yep. Checks out. Roger that. All right, we're on a boat. All right, little dude, you might want to stand back. Yeah. Okay. Go, go, go! Do it! Do all the things! Well, he moved out of the way. Ah! What? Do I have to try it again because it was so short? I do, don't I? Okay, fine. Fine. Yeah, we're getting fueled up. Look at that. Cause we have to see that. That's important. Okay, dude. Okay. Increasing throttle. Throttle. Is that 116%? Get out of my way, dude. And we're crashed. Well, that's that game for you. Graphics, uh, pretty cool looking. I'll give that a seven and a half. Sound, a five. Music, it really is none. Story, uh, fight bad guys. Controls, uh, had no idea what I'm doing. There's a game there somewhere. Funness, a two. Does it hold my attention? A one. And overall, it's going to get a three. It's one of those flight simulator games that are kind of tough to play on a console from the 90s, 80s, whatever. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next game.